So this question gives us a very simple circuit which has a current source and an inductor. Uh, and the current source is time dependent. So we have uh, actually zero current uh, for times less than zero. Uh, and then we have a current defined by this expression here for times um, greater than or equal to zero. And our question is find the voltage across the inductor. So to get a little bit of intuition uh, about the behavior of this sort of system, let's first plot what our current uh, expression is going to look like. So if I actually plot uh, current versus time, then uh, this is the kind of curve that I'll get. So we, we have the current is negative uh, for negative time. So we kind of go along the horizontal axis here. And then as soon as we reach uh, t equals zero, then the second part of our uh, expression kicks in. And I can substitute t equals zero in here and I'll get zero. So it's still continuous, the current is continuous. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a linear function multiplied by an exponential. So it's going to, uh, it's going to kind of curve up and then curve down again and, and eventually decay away. So I'll have basically uh, some kind of shape like that will be the, the sort of form of the current that will flow from this current source. So my intuition about inductors says that uh, I should have a maximum voltage when the current is steepest, right? Remember, it's the rate of change of current that actually matters for the voltage on an inductor. So I expect a maximum voltage somewhere here in the beginning, kind of where that, uh, where that curve will be steepest. It's not when the current is largest, it's when the current is increasing the most, um, most quickly. So let's go ahead and uh, solve this, uh, this question. So we have that the voltage on an inductor is L times di dt. Uh, so I will need to calculate the derivative of my current expression. Uh, so need uh, di dt. So di dt is going to be the derivative of, uh, my expression is 10 times t times e to the minus 5t. So I want the time derivative of that. And here I have a uh, a product of two functions. So I need to use the product rule uh, in, in taking my, my derivative. Uh, so I'm going to let uh, first parameter u uh, will be equal to t, uh, which gives me uh, u dash, let's, let's use a dash notation. So u dash uh, will be one, that's just the derivative of uh, the first part. Uh, and I will let uh, product rule um, term v be e to the minus 5t, uh, which gives me that v dash is going to be minus 5 e to the minus 5t, right? That's the derivative of this uh, exponential. And so according to my product rule, uh, I can bring my, uh, I can write the, the derivative like this. So I'm going to bring the 10 to the front. Uh, so I have di dt is 10 times and it will be u dash v plus v dash u. Uh, and I can substitute in my values. So uh, u dash is just one, v was e to the minus 5t. And then for my second term, I have minus 5e to the minus 5t uh, times u, which is just t. And we can simplify this a little. So I'm just going to expand my brackets. So the 10 will come back in. I will get a minus 50 t e to the minus 5 t. Uh, OK, so now I'm ready to use my uh, equation for the voltage on the inductor. So I have that the voltage on the inductor is L di dt. Uh, which was, a, it was a 100 milli Henry inductor. So that's a 0 0.1 Henry's. Always convert to the base units. So base unit is Henry's. So 0 0.1 Henry's times di dt, which is 
this expression, so 10e to the minus 5t minus 50t e to the minus 5t. Uh, and we can simplify that a little bit. I'll just bring the point 1 in, which leaves me with e to the minus 5t minus 5t e to the minus 5t. Uh, and that would have units of volts. So that's our expression for the voltage on the inductor.